Ieta for not asking my mill nicely to hand over the baby for feeding? Hi. I'm a new mom, had my son five weeks ago. My husband's parents have been staying with us and things have been super overwhelming. Mill has a habit of taking the baby and refusing to give him back to me. She'd say I'm deliberately ruining her time with him. My son needs feeding every two hours and she basically makes me beg her to hand him over to me so I could feed. Last night at 10 p.m. Mill had my son in her arms while sitting on the couch with my husband and his dad. I was exhausted, the baby started crying. I told my mill to hand him over to me so I could feed him. She refused and I kept asking. My husband starts talking about what a whinny little girl I was to complain that our son is receiving love and cuddles and how I'm using feeding as an excuse to keep the baby away from his mom. I ignored him and told his mom to hand over the baby. She refused and said I needed to wait a little longer. I got angry at this point. My husband said I could take the baby after I ask his mom nicely. This had me seething I meanly told his mom to stop being annoying and overbearing and hand him over to me. She looked at me shocked and hurt. She handed the baby over and ran into the guest room and my husband gave me a look then followed her and stayed inside to comfort her. He came into the room while I was feeding my son and started yelling about how disrespectful I was to speak to his mom this way and treat her poorly when all she's doing is showing our son more love than I do. I told him about how she's been taking the baby for hours and preventing me from feeding him properly. He said that 1. Our son isn't an object for me to act like I own him and 2. His mom was doing nothing wrong and 3. I should have asked nicely instead of being a buy dollar ch to his mom and making her cry. I started crying and yelled that I'd go to my mom's place if his parents stay any longer and he yelled back saying in quat. Shut the fuck up, you're only acting up cause you don't want my parents around. Fuck's wrong with you, and quat, then walked out. I felt terrible thinking maybe I was rude to his mom but I also think that I'd hit my limits here. I ate a for not asking her nicely like my husband wanted? Edit. Some mistakes because my hands are a bit unsteady. NTA. Pack your gear and take baby to your parents. Rethink your relationship as well. Who the hell speaks to their wife like that especially after having baby? Protect your mental, physical health at all cost. Op. Your husband is prioritizing his mother's emotional wants over your five-week-old baby's physical needs get out now this is only going to escalate, and he's already shown his own child isn't his top priority. That's not normal, that's terrifying. NTA at all and I'm very alarmed at your husband calling you a whiny little girl for trying to feed your child. And then attempting to prevent him from being fed even when he was crying until you asked his mother nicely for permission to feed your own child. You seriously need to evaluate if this is a safe environment for your child to be raised in. I started crying and yelled that I'd go to my mom's place do this now. You are under such stress both emotionally and physically. I think having an actual loving, supportive environment is the best thing for both you and your child. Take your child, go to your mom, and actually see how you're supposed to be treated by someone who actually loves you. Your husband is an abusive asshole. Please, for the sake of your child, don't let that become the norm of their life. NTA. Call your parents to come get you. I worry that this guy, and his parents, would escalate things if you signaled that you were leaving without someone there to support you and back you up. They might try to stop you from taking your child with you. Call your parents so that they can be there with you while you pack your and baby's things to leave. Showing your son more love than you do, well maybe because the monster-in-law is hogging the baby. She's doing more harm than good and obviously doesn't love that baby as much as he thinks if she can sit there and hear them cry because they're hungry. NTA but please get out before anything happens, they sound super toxic. I hope all goes well, stay safe op two hearts. You know this line hit me so hard. He managed to make me feel like I'm a horrible mom and that there was something wrong with me. He keeps saying my reaction to every little thing is abnormal and exaggerated. I'm dealing with so much depression and anxiety so that might explain why he'd think that but I still think his mom is being a bit much. Get off of Reddit and call your mother. A friend. Somebody. You and your baby need out of this toxic environment now. Please don't risk Mill and husband taking your baby and playing the she's unstable card. You need to act immediately. Alternatively take the baby to the doctor and once you are there tell the doctor who is a mandated reporter that they are not letting you hold and comfort the baby and your husband yells at you when you feed the baby. 
Tell them you want to wait there until CPS or a shelter can help you take the baby somewhere safe. Remain calm. Refuse to leave until you've gotten a checkup and written a statement there so if they try to claim you were abusing the baby you already have on record what is happening. Your husband will probably pull you into court but a breastfed baby will be staying with you and will likely have supervised visitation while all of this comes out. It is important to do this through official channels because otherwise they can just take the baby from you. Do not let that happen. I swear I'm on the verge of doing this. I'm so so exhausted I cannot take any of this anymore. Call your parents, have them come get you and the baby. Involve the police if you have to. You are not safe. Edit because I was so frantic about your situation op. I forgot the judgment. N-T-A-N-T-A-N-T-A-N-T-A-N-T-A.